So this matches the loser's bracket. It is Nemesis versus Omnia. It is loser's bracket X. The winner of this will move on to face Alex. The loser is eliminated from the tournament. This match is a best of three. And this is the first match. We are just waiting for them to start. Omnia lost to Phoenix Mog. And Nemesis lost to CJ. So Phoenix Mog and CJ actually are going to be playing against each other probably very soon. This video is being recorded on October 7th, 2022. So Omnia is using an Arx, and Nemesis is using a Hunter. In this case, a Force, but it's the Hunter side. So it looks like uh, Omnia is going first. We can take a look at their hand. Oh, no creatures. Let's take a look at Tyler's hand. Nemesis's hand, I should say. And he has one item, so it's better than nothing. now on Omni's hand, so let's see what he does here. Probably play the Gil Shark right in front of Nemesis. Oh, interesting. Protects himself. Probably the smarter play. So for those unfamiliar with episode 3, basically you have the Fomar story character here for Arx, and you have the Fomaral story character Hunter side, and basically you have to reduce one of their HPs to zero to win. So, you know, as we can see, Omnia has 19, and you know, was, uh, Nemesis has 14. Unfortunately, Nemesis does not have any other items to play right now. But he is playing aggressive. Looks like uh, he's going to do some nice damage in on Omnia right now. Omnia has no way to defend himself. And he gets the freeze on the Gil Shark, too. Very lucky. I believe if you roll a 4 or above on Gabarda, you get to freeze your opponent. You cannot freeze a story character. That would be insanely broken. So. Alright, how does Omnia respond? He rolls a 3. That is not good. So the Gil Shark can't do anything for two turns. It's gonna be basically dead next turn. You can't do much with it. Oh, but he does play another one. So 
I mean, there were basically two plays he could have made there. He could have chose to do Zonde and kill that uh, Club of Laconium, or play the Gil Shark. I don't think Tyler would have been able to defend himself against the Zonde. Nah, he couldn't revert one worth on story character. So, two different paths. I think uh, this is the safer of the two, for sure. Uh oh. Nemesis rolled well. Let's see what he does here. He can cast both of these decks in his hand. He'll do five damage each with them, so. He's going to opt to kill one of the gill sharks because they are pretty dangerous. Ooh, he's going to Zande break. Interesting. Omni is in some trouble here. He needs to do something about these Placoniums. Let's see if Nemesis draws into some text here. Otherwise, he's kind of in trouble. Change. Oof, he did not. I drew a heavy blow, which is not very good against this matchup. Except... Omnia is not rolling well, unfortunately. It's just part of the game, but... He does have some plays to make here, so... I think he is going for the defensive play again. So that is the end of his turn. Fishing for some defense cards, it looks Change. like. Interesting, he has a tech field. Boosts all technique damage. So, both players would benefit from that. Ooh, Nemesis did not roll well at all. So, what does he do here? He decides to AP silence the... Your shark, it seems. I don't think. Yeah, Omnia can't defend against this, so. I guess he's just waiting to see what's going to happen. So, AP Silence lowers the targets. Attack power by three. So right now this Go Shark has only two AP. It's a pretty powerful ability. Let's see what he does here. He rolled a four, so he can do stuff with that. I see a couple good plays he can make here. Definitely gonna Zonde with one of them. Let's see what's going on. He's gonna split boost with the Gil Shark and just do a regular attack with the uh, Arlen. Vert's going to block 5 damage here, so it's going to end up doing 2. Yep. He rolled a 5 with split boost. 
Unfortunately, not enough to destroy the one club of Laconium. And club of Laconium actually ability trapped Farland there, so it did not do its AP and TP swap. So that is an interesting thing that happened there. Omnia got Gazande. That could be a very powerful comeback card here if Nemesis decides to equip one of these items, which I think he will. Windmill is a very, very good card. Very meta card. Basically swaps an enemy's AP and HP for a permanent change. Usually it's really good against this guy because you then swap its HP to 1 and its AP to 7 and then you can usually follow it up with a, another attack to kill it. So. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, he's not attacking this turn. That could be very good for Omnia if he rolls a 4 here. Does Nemesis have a way to defend himself? He does. He has a few defense cards here. And Omnia rolled a four. He has some choices to make here. This could be a turning point in the match. We'll see what he does. Okay, he's not going to go for the Gazande play. He's going to go for the more defensive play. Might be the right play. Ooh. Oh, that is nasty. The counter worked. The counter has a 70% chance to work. It basically would avoid all damage and return it to the attacker. And that's exactly what happened there. The Girl Shark killed itself. So Omnia is in a lot of trouble right now. Nemesis rolled a 1-1. One, one. That is detrimental. He can't do anything this turn. Wow. Omnia dodged a bullet here. Well, Tyler does have one play. He can... Zande the Arlene, or he can move up. But it looks like he opted not to move, but he's gonna Zande the Arlene instead. That could be really bad. Oh no. see what Omnia does. He rolled a 5, so he has a couple options here. He might play a creature. He does play the, the Ilgil. So, we'll see what happens here. This turns over because he can't do anything else. He will probably get rid of his Chaos Sorcerer, though. This really depends on what Tyler rolls now. 3-3 three, three is not terrible, but not the greatest either. Let's 
see what happens here. Looks like he's not moving, he's just gonna rock away. Or, yep, he's gonna rock away. Omnia can play the TP defense. Yep, and he will. Still does a lot of damage and kills the R land, but does save a lot on his ill kill, so it is worth it. The one one, he's so screwed. Omnia just needed a good roll here to be able to do something. The dice have been unrelenting this game. It's basically this game to see who rolls the best. Nemesis is just about to get a dice bonus, so we'll see what happens. The dice are set to standard rules in this game. You can roll between a 1 and a 6. Uh, right now with how the server is, it basically treats each dice as equal chance. It's not weighted like how it was on Sega. Probably a change that we will make at some point. Not during this tournament, but later. Oh, he's going in for the kill, I think. I think this is it. This is just a bait attack to see if Omni uses a defense card. He didn't. So... I think this is it. I don't think there's anything Omnia can do here. Because this is 3 damage and the windows, windows doing 7, so I think this is just game right here. Yeah, this is game. Alright, so Nemesis takes the first battle. Yes, he did get some very bad dice. Alright, so that is the end of game one. So now we have to wait till game two starts. If Omnia does lose game two, he is eliminated from the tournament. It's just a waiting game. Let's see if Omnia decides to change decks. Maybe Nemesis keeps the same. In this tournament, there are no specific rules to what decks you can use. Um, you know, the only limitations on deck is that you can only use N and R rank cards. So, other than that, you can't. You can use whatever deck you want for any match.
So match two is now starting. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Looks like Omnia decided to use the same deck. Maybe. Maybe it's a different deck, but... Nemesis did switch decks, though. So let's see what he is going to use this time. <laughs> May the dice be with you. Yeah. I cannot see their hands yet, so... Let's see what happens here. Omni right. goes first. It looks like the same deck, so... Ooh, we have a strong roll, turn one. This could decide the match here. Chaos Sorcerer, turn one, is insanely good. This card is really strong. So... Omni is pressuring Nemesis already. Oh, he does have the walk to counter, though. If he's able to pull it off. Hopefully he doesn't equip it right away. The Coward Bog. This looks like a counter pick. Honestly. Because Coward Bog is very good against techniques. It basically cancels them out. So let's see what happens here. So Omnia did not roll well, it was 2-2. Two, two. Defense. So that 8 damage is incorrect, because he's only doing a physical attack, is only 2. So that is a current bug we have on the server that we know about. We just can't do anything about it right now. Um, basically, 8 damage if he was doing a tech, but this has Action Disruptor, which basically destroys all action cards and techniques or action cards in this game. So, so it gets reverted to a physical attack, and Sorcerer only has... Well, 2 AP. Let's see what Tyler does here. Tyler has some interesting choices to make here. Does he just run up and not equip anything? Or does he equip something and then run up and attack once? Nope. He's gonna use Heavy Blow instead. Or Mighty Knuckle. Mighty Knuckle's really good too. The reduction's pretty good here. It takes off about 5 damage, 6 damage even. Episode 3, uh, it rounds down in this game, so anything that becomes a 0.5 uh, gets lowered and round down. So 5.5 minus 11 is, well, 5.5, so it gets rounded down to 5. See what Omnia decides to do here. Our land is pretty good. He 
Unfortunately, techniques are useless right now, so... Too because of action disruptor. Let's see if he pulls off the paralysis. Nope, need to roll a six for that one. Paral paralysis would have been pretty detrimental for him there. Paralysis on a weapon means that it can't attack, but it could move. Able to move, but unable to attack. Oh, he pulled out the walk. He's going for the kill. He's going for the kill on the sorcerer. I'm sorry about my phone there. Making lots of noise. Yep, this is a guaranteed kill. Omnion does not have the necessary defense cards to get to cancel this out. So to explain what happened there, he used the heavy blow with the coward, with the walk. Walk does a swap with the enemy's attack power and HP. However, he silenced the AP with this, which made it zero because he only has two AP. So he made it zero, then he swapped the HP with the AP, and obviously with AP being zero, HP becomes zero because got swapped. So it kills the sorcerer instantly. Not much you can do about that. There's really only about maybe three cards in the game that could have prevented that. Maybe two. Omnia does have some plays here, so let's see what he does. Oh, okay. He gets rid of that annoying Calipog, so his techniques won't be useless now. Ooh, this is a good turn for Omnia. He got rid of both of his items. waiting for him. He's got four defense, he can use it. See what happens here. Change. Oh man, Nemesis is gonna equip this slicer of assassin. So he's gonna automatically kill the foreign land because it has less than two, less than three HP. But he needs to be able to defend that Gil Shark. So, let's see what he's gonna do. He might risk it and play counter. That could be very interesting if he does that. Yeah, tough decision here. Oh, interesting. Oh, the counter works, but he does destroy the slicer. I don't know if I would have used counter. Oh, he should have used counter on the Arlan, because the Arlan would have avoided damage. Not the Arlan, the Gil Shark.
Alright, sorry, I was just explaining something. So, Omnia just... was able to luckily play a Gil Shark and attack direct damage to Nemesis because he got his slicer destroyed. Oh, he is in a world of trouble right now. Can't equip anything. His hand is kind of uh, dead at the moment. Doesn't have any defense. Could be interesting. I think his best bet is to use the guard, the guard here. Blocks the most damage. And now he needs to roll a six to kill this thing. Let me roll the two. Oh, I see. He used AP Silence too. <laughs> He loves his AP silences. Change. Oh no, a bad roll. But he still has a play, he can still do some damage, some really strong damage here with the foy. Hopefully he sees that. Looks like he does. Yes. That is detrimental to Nemesis. He's gotta take his full 6 damage. He's in tr some trouble now. <laughs> Change. Let's see what, uh, okay, so we can equip a Vijaya. Vijaya is pretty good. So the TP defense here is extremely good if he decides to play it. We'll take off about 5 damage. Actually, we'll take off 5 damage. Okay, he decided to go for the reduction. It still saves it, but at 1 HP. And Vijaya, just like episode 1 and 2, it does have some drawbacks to it. It does lower your EXP by 2 each time you swing it. I think he still has a decent play here. He can use the split boost. He can use avert here or guard or resist is the safest play. Resist would block pretty much everything unless he rolls a six. <laughs> it does one damage, okay. That was the best case scenario. Unfortunately, uh, resist blocks a lot of damage. Well, Omnia is set up for the next turn if he does roll well. Uh, Nemesis rolled very well here, so we'll see what happens.
defense, they're gonna die no matter what, unfortunately. That's not enough. Sulfur has one TP. <laughs> So let's see what Omnia does here. Depends what it rolls. Change. Nemesis has a six for defense, which is scary. He's got three defense cards. You can play all of them if prompted. For the Ilgil. The Ilgil is in some trouble though. If it decides to attack, it's gonna basically nearly kill itself. Oh, interesting, he's going for that. I think Companion is the best play that he can make here. Companion just returns the damage, but doesn't prevent the damage either, so... Ah, oh, he is going to save his J. Interesting. Oh, he got a mobile on it. Which really doesn't mean anything for a Hunter, honestly. The Hunter can still move. Another Vijaya. He's only five costs, so you're allowed to have eight costs of things in the field at once. Oh, he's gonna go for big damage on uh, on your story character. That's what it looks like, at least. Interesting that he used that to attack instead, though. This HP attack is a pretty dead card. Surprise if we keep it. Yeah, got rid of it. Oh, he is in trouble. If Omnia plays this right, he can win the match. Depends. Yeah, I think this match is over. Here, unfortunately.
Yeah, he can't defend himself. He's got nothing. He's dead. So the Silgill is going to do 5 damage, I think. Or 6, because it loses 3 from weak spot. Yep. GG. So this goes to round 3 for the Cider. So now we go to the decider. So this final match comes down to either one of these guys being eliminated. So the matches have been very good. Um, there was definitely a point in the second match where I thought Tyler was going to win, but uh, Amiya turned it around. He turned it around. Some well placed that counter really screwed him up. The companion also screwed him up. Those cars are just really strong at the right times. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Right. Does Omnia pick a different deck now? Let's see. Oh, we have two different picks. Omnia is using a hunter side. Oh, Omnia is an arcs, sorry. 
And Nemesis is using the Ranger. Kron's hero side character. It's ridiculously good. Change. Nemesis is playing a very strong deck. Let's see what Omni has here. Interesting. So Omnia can play this Moness in the middle of the stage to really slow things down if he wants to. And I don't mean for Nemesis, but I mean for Omnia. It's not in a great spot, so I don't I don't know what's gonna happen here. Looks like Omnia is playing mostly native deck. Although he did have an Indie Bellra there. Let's see what happens. Well, he's going to kill both of them. <laughs> AH swap. This has no AP, so it's just dead. Oh, that's pretty good, though. He gets 4 EXP from that. And that's also just dead. Can't do anything about that. Something went wrong there. Omnia was supposed to gain EXP. 4 EXP because it had HP. Um, that sucks. So something didn't quite go right there. Take 
take a look, shall we, at this, uh... see for this card. I'll have to look at each of that later. But the Saint Rappy is going to pose a huge threat. Unless he just straight up kills it. <laughs> oh, he has the counter. Oh my god. Is he going to play it? Of course he's going to play it. <laughs> oh, that was so bad for Nemesis. This thing has 6 HP now, but it has 9 AP. So, it'll update in a second. <laughs> it's super rappy. Christmas came early, huh? Yep, there it goes, 9 AP. Another bad roll. Well, he we could play the Monest again to really slow things down if he wanted to. I think he will, actually. That Monest is going to cause a huge problem for Nemesis because it is just going to slow things down. So, uh, Monest it forces everybody's move to one at all the spaces around it. So, all eight spaces around it, it's going to force everything to have one move. That does include his story character, though, because it is next to it. So,. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, wow, that's really good. <laughs> yeah, the server did some weird stuff there, but still works. See what happens here. Change. <laughs> yeah, that Rappy did some work. It really did. So when Rappy dies, it gives the owner uh, EXP equal to its HP, so it gave Nomnia 9 EXP, which forced him to get a dice bonus, so that is really good. Let's see what Omnia does here. He's going to use the split boost for sure. Oh, Requiem. Interesting. He's going to gain some EXP off of that, too. <clears throat> Oh, 
I am really liking this deck that Omni made. It is very good. Let's see what this uh, roll is. Oh, it blocked all the damage. He got lucky. He is a nemesis. Well, the companion is the play here. Yep. Nemesis is not having a good time killing all these flies. <laughs> this is basically a self sacrifice deck that Ami is playing. Um, unfortunately, he doesn't have anything to play this turn, so. Omnia can basically infinitely stall the match at this point because of this Monest. Nemesis is basically forced to kill it now because of the one move issue. has to play here. He's got the flame visit to kill it again. Oh, can't attack this turn though. There's not enough points. Ah, yep, that is the play. Moving one space away. So he can move, move two spaces this turn, coming up for him. He could play the Mothman, but it doesn't really do much here, so he might just hold on to it for now. No, he plays it anyway.
Hmm, what does he do here? Oh, he's going for the monast. Interesting. Oh, I definitely could pen. That's the play. Interesting. I don't know why he would do that. That's a mistake. I think uh, Omnia failed to realize that AH swap was going to kill the Monas regardless. See what gets. I don't know how much companion does there anyway. It doesn't kill the. Uh... I don't know. It's a weird interaction. He plays the Saint Raphael for sure. in trouble right now. is now in some trouble. <laughs> He's going to take about five or six damage from this flame visit. Five. Place the bonus. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But now he can. Oh, interesting. He plays that too. Oh, he's gonna box him in. Oh, that's crazy. He's gonna box him in. He trapped him. So the Saint Rappy's gonna move up one. He's gonna move his story character to the left one. Yep. So now Nemesis is trapped. He has to now fight his way out of this corner. That is... He's playing 4D chess right now. The companion unfortunately doesn't do enough here because... Mothman has 3 HP. But it does it's enough to destroy that. Yep, use the companion here for sure. Let's 
see what he decides to do here. Omnia has some interesting choices for defense. He's got counter in his hand. Definitely going to keep that. is dead. Doesn't matter what he does here. Counter might help though. Oh. <laughs> Counter is doing some work in these three matches. Both players have used it. The good news is that Nemesis is now out of this corner unless Omni is able to trap him again. There's nothing in his hand that will let him do that though. Change. What does he have to defend himself? Ooh, a survival and a guard. But he can only use one here. sure uses the guard here. Survival would be pretty bad. Well, both of those are dead, but he can use a companion to um, destroy that slicer, so that'll be helpful. Oh, what is he doing? Why would he do that? Oh, uh, that's actually... it doesn't... well, it's dead, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Omnia has a huge dice bonus now, so I think they both have a dice bonus of three. They do. So, does he play the Indie Bellra? I think he does. I think this is the turn to play it. Yep. Trump card. Interesting that he played it there though. I guess he could have. Man, it doesn't matter, he can still hit it anyway. <laughs> it's lucky he had that. Well, St. Rappy's useless now.
change. The split boost is still good though, he can use it on the uh, his story character, KC, which is hilariously mistranslated. Liter his name should literally be KC, not the letters K C. Stupid Sega. Oh, he has some choices here. I think that's the best choice he could have played. TP defense will block every damage except one, so that would be the play to me. Yep. The problem with Indie Belra is that it costs one extra point to move each square. So if you wanted to move it two spaces, it costs four points. So we'll see what he rolls here. He does have a plus three dice bonus, so that'll help, for sure. The minimum he can roll is four. Okay, he rolls a seven. I don't think he plays directly in here, it does not play. At this point, you don't need more than three dice bonus. No, he plays it anyway. Companion is a pretty big deal here right now. 10 damage to the Beller is pretty good. Change. Amir is in some trouble here. He's safe this turn because he can't be attacked. Nemesis does have the Yasmin Cost 3000 out, and that thing's really strong. So, Bellra is safe this turn. Can't kill it, so. I guess he wanted to burn the car. It's not going to kill it, though. Lock on three could be really good if you used it at the right time. Omnia um, also just rolled a 9 7. <laughs> As if you need more dice. This earthquake would be really bad if you played it right now. Who knew a little fly would be so annoying?
This match could really go either way right now. It really depends what happens with this uh, Yasminkov weapon. Yasminkov weapon's a huge threat. going for the guaranteed kill. Shuffle group, interesting. So Omnia loses his hand and gets a new one, but I think his new hand's better than his old one. <laughs> I think he companions that here for sure. Yep. It's a play I would have made as well. Kron's is in some trouble because he's running out of HP here. Oh, he played a lock on three, which means he cannot play the counter at all. So that is a big deal. The best thing he can do is bequeath it so he gets 10 extra experience from this power. So. Yep. Omnia is in some trouble. He needs to be able to play. <laughs> so much experience, yeah. Well, the only thing you can do is play that Monest, so... Yeah, he can't do anything this turn. Omnia still has that counter though, so... It's, this game is getting a little ridiculous now. They have a really high dice bonus. And well... See if he moves over to destroy it or not. Or try to destroy it. <laughs> I 
they might hit the time limit on this game. I think that is the right play. Let's see if the heavy attack. Oh, the knockout. Interesting. Well, hopefully he can counter. Let's see. Oh, the counter does not go off. That Mothman was an extremely lucky draw because he drew that from the counter that he just played. So he's going to play the split boost and then Tyler is going to play the resist and nothing's going to happen. So Tyler, let's see what he's gonna do. I mean, his best play. is probably to equip the slicer, move back a step, and then destroy both of those. Change. It's really his only play. I could see is the time remaining because right now if the time does run out Omnia wins because he has more HP he's got 12 HP versus Tron is 4 so I don't really know how much time is left though yeah I mean both of those guys are dead but it doesn't matter So he's going to play a Saint Rappy and then a Monist. Really his only play at this point. And he can still use a Berserk on his Rappy if he really wanted to. Or does he play the Monist? Same spot. <laughs> Nemesis is just not having a good time with these Monists, unfortunately. Decided not to use the Berserk, but he should, probably should have. Well, maybe not. Who knows? Because the TP defense does block all the damage here. Yep. St. Rappy's zero TP is its one weakness. Thank you. 
trouble but if you can keep up stalling the match then I guess we'll see what happens Change attack on the slicer on the monist. I'm using uh, I mean, it doesn't matter. He's dead regardless. Actually, kind of bad for uh... well, Grimes has three HP left. <laughs> he forgot about the <laughs> oh man, Nemesis is in some trouble now. Got a one HP slicer. Is that's it? <laughs> well, he's gonna play a Saint Rappy and a Mothman for sure. This is a match worthy of a best of three. I'll say that much. This is really just going down to the wire at this point. Although Nemesis unfortunately cannot overcome being blocked out. I think this might be the end of the match. Depends what Nemesis has. Nemesis only has a counter and an invert. If the counter triggers, then the match will go on. If it doesn't, then the match might be over. We'll see. This is where you use the counter. Oh, it triggers. The match must go on. <laughs> this is getting a bit ridiculous now. So let's see, if uh, Omnia rolls a 6, which he does, he destroys the slicer. 5 would work too. Nemesis rolled a 9-9, so he can pretty much equip everything he wants. Well, he's 2 HP left, so his these last two things that he equips are his last two equips. So
Oh, there's the fly. That could be a big deal. Interesting that he wouldn't equip that, though. He's going to play the fly on himself. This is the card he's needed the entire match. Where was this? He kills both of them. It doesn't matter here. <laughs> he could have played the fly to go over the Rappy. But uh, I guess he didn't see the play. So now, he just got punished hardcore for that. What does Omnia play? has absolutely no defense at all. He's got a seal. That's about it. That blocks one damage. <laughs> He's got a Hilda Blue. That just deals a ton of damage at this point in the game. Does he play the Requiem for more damage? No, he doesn't. So, Hilda Blue gets 2 AP for each additional dice bonus, and Omni is sitting on a 6 dice bonus right now. So it's dealing a lot of damage. <laughs> Ability Trap would work in some regard, but it still wouldn't block enough damage. <laughs> Omnia moves on to face, let's see, who does he face? Omnia moves on to face Alex, while Nemesis is eliminated from the tournament. Wow, that was an incredible match. I think things may have gone differently if he played the fly and flew over, but that Hilda Blue would have came out regardless, so I don't know... That was a crazy match. So... We will end it here. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. See you at the next one.